Printing is the first step to creating our Metro witnessing prints. I happen to print these out uh, three across on a 60 inch roll. However, different roll sizes can be used. So if they are printed out three across, of course, we have to cut those down. And that's what uh, you see me doing here. Just taking the standard razor knife and slicing those down. I have laminate that is the proper width for running these through. Uh, I tend to laminate the prints for the books, but in this video, you'll see me laminating uh, prints for the magazines as well. Uh, so this is what it looks like when we run the prints through the laminator. And uh, the laminator does, I think, degrade the image just a little bit. It looks a little nicer without the laminate on there. However, of course, the laminate will allow the prints to last a very long time without any kind of scuffing or scraping of the ink. So once the prints are laminated, then again, we have to slice the prints apart. And once the prints are sliced apart, they're ready to be mounted. It's very important to have the surface nice and clean. And to get that nice and clean, make sure there's no, um, no glue or any other kind of grit on the surface. So we use uh, isopropyl alcohol in order to uh, clean the surface real good. That's just a matter of squeezing it onto a paper towel and wiping it down. Use your hand to, to kind of feel any kind of grit that might be there. And give it a good rub down and just make sure that there's nothing that's going to stick underneath of the print. Uh, and you want to do this pretty much every time you're ready to mount the prints to the board. And if you see a little bit of glue or dirt just give it a good wipe down and you should be all set so how do we mount the prints what I like to do is uh, to peel down and few inches of the backer which is that shiny plastic on the back of the print. Uh, I also will take a little bit of shipping tape to hold the backer down. So here you'll see me pulling down on the shiny backer and then I'll take my tape and I'll tape tape that down so that it doesn't uh, roll back roll back up. Here you can see my PVC board. What I'm going to do is take my fingers right up to the edges of the print. If there's any excess on the around the edges, I can go ahead and slice that off. Doesn't have to be perfect, just kind of get it get it close. So once I find the corners with my fingers, I'm going to use my fingers to kind of center up the print. And I can kind of stick it in one corner and then stick it in the other corner. Uh, these are printed about an eighth of an inch large on all four sides. So you might say a quarter inch too large top to bottom and a quarter inch too large left to right. So then I give it a, a wipe down across the top. And then I go down to the bottom and I, I'm looking right now at the bottom, you can't see it, but just making sure that everything lines up. And it didn't quite line up. Now I'm looking at the bottom again. Now I'm actually reaching underneath and pulling off that piece of tape 
grabbing that plastic backer and going, I'm going to go ahead and pull it all the way down. Now I'm going to just start to wipe down on the print. The adhesive is pretty nice to work with, so it's not so sticky that you can't, you can't work with it. I've got a glove on here so that I don't, it kind of allows your hand to slide across it a little easier and make sure you don't scuff it. Actually, the glove is really necessary if you don't laminate the print. But since we've laminated, the glove really just helps me wipe down the print a little better. So now I'm kind of starting in the middle and coming down and going to the sides. You can really perfect this technique and do it pretty quickly once you get used to it. This is one of my first goes at it, so I hope to say that I'm better at it now. And I'm sure you will be too. Also, the air seems to come out pretty easily. Uh, if there's a bubble, it doesn't hold unless it's a really bad one. A lot of times you can wipe those bubbles right out from underneath. All right, so once you have that laid down correctly, you take your razor knife and just slice across the sides. Of course, you want to get as close as you can to the edge. And again, since a little bit of color is hanging over on all four sides, it gives you a little bit of wiggle room, a little margin of error. You can see the color there right around the edge. Flip it over, and there's your finish, finished product there. Give it one more look over and wipe down the edges real good. good to have clean surfaces. You don't want dust or debris to stick to the surface. The surface many times will be uh, somewhat charged with a little bit of uh, static cling, if, if you will. So it's good to keep everything wiped down good with dust. A little bit of moisture you spray the table with a little moisture that can cut down on the static too. Again, you want to trim your edges before you stick stick this down. There's a copyright on one side and you're going to want to favor that side so that when you trim the edges, remember we, we printed this slightly larger than the board. So when you trim your edges, if you want to keep that copyright on there, you're going to need to get kind of close on that edge. All right. So again, just pull off a little bit of tape. Tape down your plastic backer so that you've got a sticky exposed edge of a few inches. <clears throat> Take your fingers and get right close to the edge and stick it down. As you push down with your thumb, you can kind of see the corner poking through. A little bit of an indention there at the corner so that you can perfectly align both sides. Once you've got the two sides 
lined up fairly well. Look at the bottom. Again, push down and look at the little corner edges poking through the print. Looks good. If you need to make any adjustments, you can do that because you haven't stuck enough of the print down to the point where you can't get it back up. All right, go ahead and tack the top edge. Make sure everything is square. Wipe it down, reach underneath and go ahead and pull your taped edge up and start to peel down on the backer, pull it to you. And then you can go ahead and wipe down with your hand. Just try to get the bubbles out, make sure there's no air trapped in there. And again, because this is laminated, you can you can wipe it down with your hands. But <clears throat> if it weren't laminated and it was uh, an aqueous or water-based print, like the printer that I use, uh, you'd probably want to use the gloves to wipe the print down. So you trim around the edge and that's pretty much it. Now you've got both sides. In this case, one side the Bible teach and on the other side the family book. Now how do you remove the print? The print is stuck down, of course. Now you can peel it up, but it is stuck on there somewhat firmly. And so a heat gun is the best way to go. So in this case, you'll see me, uh, I've already tried to peel back one corner but I'm just going to show you how easy it is to pull these prints off. And you can overlay about three, maybe three or more layers of this printed material until you decide to peel it all off and start over from scratch. Reusing these boards really just creates less, less waste. You can order these with a disposable board, but this is really the way to go. To remove the, uh, the material, just, just warm it up a little bit. and What that will do is keep the material from separating uh, and leaving the, the glue. Which of course, if the glue, if the glue stays on the, on the board, you're going to have to clean that off. and It just takes a little bit longer to clean that off after it's stuck than if you were just to use a little bit of heat now and, and get it all off. So I recommend using a heat gun or a hair dryer or something like that. A heat gun might be a little better because it gets hotter, but um, you could probably use a hair dryer on high. And it just, once you get good at this, again, this is my first go at this particular combination of materials, but I'm sure once you get good at this, you'll do it much faster than I'm doing it here. Find you a nice clean corner, work your way out, and as, again, as long as it's warm. It'll come right up. So that's, uh, that's pretty much it. So we've covered uh, removing the print, installing the print, You've seen how the printer works and the laminator works, and that's all for now. Thank you.